hello everyone this is fahad mirza and i welcome you to the channel as was promised this video is about how to use function calling capabilities of this newly released dolphin 3 models if you're looking to get it installed locally and if you are wondering how exactly this performs and what the fuss is about please go to my channel and then search with dolphin 3 you should be able to find this video where i have shown you from scratch as how to get this Dolphin 3 installed on your local system with the help of Olama which is a very fast and easy way to install these LLMs locally in a quantized format and then you should be able to see all the capabilities of this model. But I received a lot of uh, feedback around as how exactly we can use the function calling capabilities of this Dolphin 3 and that is what I'm going to do with it. I will be using open web UI which I also showed you in that video. So before I show you that let me introduce you to the sponsors of the video who are EIA agent bot that lets you effortlessly deploy a personalized knowledge bot across platforms like discord slack and others. It is ideal for open source tech communities and startups that provide user support and I will drop the link to their website in videos description so do check them out. Now, before I sh talk about this, uh, show you the hands-on function calling capabilities of this model, let's talk a bit about this tools or function calling. We all know that these LLMs are powerful, really powerful, but they need to be able to execute code to get answer to user questions. The way these LLMs access the external world or external APIs is through function callings or tools. Now, if you go to this tool section of open web UI, which is openwebuicom slash tools, and I will drop the link to it in video's description too. You will see that a lot of people in the community have already created, created these tools. These are simple Python scripts that are provided to an LLM at the time of request. And these enable LLMs to perform actions and receive additional context as a result. Now, in order to use tools, you need to make sure that the LLM supports function calling for tools to be reliably utilized. Otherwise, there, there is no point. And we know that this Dolphin model does have function calling abilities. Now, I already have Olama installed. I already have this model downloaded and I already have Open Web UI installed on my local system. If you don't know how to do that, please search my channel and you should be able to find that quite easily. I have done heaps of step by step videos. All you need to do is to search it with a keyword. Now, let me take you to my terminal where you can see that I am running this Ubuntu 22.04. And this is my GPU card NVIDIA RTX A6000 with 48 GB of VRAM. This is courtesy Mast Compute who are sponsoring the VM and GPU for this video. If you are looking to rent a GPU on very affordable prices, I will drop the link to their website in video's description. Plus, I am also going to give you a coupon code of 50% discount on range of GPUs. So, I already have Olama running and you can see that this is the first model, the Dolphin 3 Lama 3.18 billion in Q8 quantized uh, version, which is already running. The size is around 8.5 gig. And I already have Open Web UI installed too. As I said, if you don't know how to do it, please, please search my channel. I have done the video on it. So I'm going to launch my Open Web UI here. It is going to start at local host at port 8080. Shouldn't take too long now. That, there you go and now i can get it access at this local host so let me open a new browser okay so it says try again so it means it is still not up so let's wait now it is up now i'm going to rerun it and there you go so my open web ui is running now so if you click on this top left you will see that i already have a lot of um, chats available here if you click on top left drop down, you can select the model from here. Now, the first thing we need to do is to install the tool or import the tool. You can import it your own tool from your local system if you have created a JSON file. And I already have done another video where I have shown you how to create your own tools. And I will be doing another fresh video on it too. But for the purpose of this video, the idea is to show you how you can use the existing tools with this 
dolphin model so for that go to these tool website as i mentioned earlier this is a community website from open web ui and from here you can use whatever tool you want to use so for example i'll just go with maybe weather one so i have just click on it okay so it is still not there that is fine not a problem i'll just go back or i'll just go, where is it okay so let's try out any other one maybe you can uh, go with web search you can go with web scrape you can go email tool you see there are a lot of options here so i'm just going to go with a simple one so i'm just going to get this get time one so i just clicked on it now in order to install it uh, my preferred way is to just click on this get button the blue button okay so it is saying that uh, get started so i would just need to sign in it's a free sign up so let me log in with my email address so i am logged in now let's click on this get time again and from from here click on get you can import it to <clears throat> web ui if you have um if you want to or you can download it as a json export up to you if you for example download it to json format you would have to manually import it so uh, let me show you how you can do that normally i download it as a json format so i just downloaded it as you can see and let me quickly see where it got so it, it is in my downloads directory with tool dash get time so make sure that you know that and then just go back to where your open web ui is and then now you can simply go to workspaces and tools and there are multiple ways of doing so you can go from here on your workspace and then you see there is a tool on the top right from here you can just click on import tools and then you can select that file so go to downloads and then from here just search for that tools file i'm just going to get this from here double click and then you can confirm it so you see that now when you refresh it you should be able to see your new tool here so let me quickly refresh it from here and you can see that now this get time tool is visible here now how do you use it again you see that there is a tab at top models so click on models and from here you need to see which models are present here now you see at the moment it doesn't show me any model because that is not in that workspace so in order to do that what we need to do you can either just go back here or better yet just uh, click on new chat and then you see at the top right there are a lot of options here so for example if you go to admin panel here and then uh, you see there are some options which you can check out so what i normally do i just go to settings here and then here you can do a lot of stuff so for example if you click on models here you will see all the models which you have are available so for example this is our model dolphin 3 llama and we want to enable tool for it so i just click clicked on that pencil one and then uh, there is a lot of information here but we are in interested in tools so i'm just going to enable this tool for it uh, you can enable other tools too but i just want to do this and then save and update and you can see now this model has access to that tool and this is how easy it is so we can go back to new chat and then select our model from here and then we can uh, start chatting with it and you can see that get time is already available here for you and then you can ask it a prompt for example i asked it what is the current time and then you can see that it is also using that get time function here it's a very random stuff so but you get the point that if you uh, just and it is responding into the code one there you go now and the current time it is giving me some uh, random stuff here And if you look closely at this output, primarily it is giving you the current time or current date and time. So not only it is converting your natural language prompt into the function call, but also it is giving you the whole code around it. Another way of accessing this tool is just type get time and then it is going to give you the same response. So again, current and date and time. So the idea is that you can write any arbitrary Python code, create a tool with it, and from there you can simply import it as a JSON file 
and then start using it. I also have done various other videos on these tools. So for instance, if you go to my channel and just search with Open Web UI tools, you see that this is the video um, to use Open Web UI tool collection locally with local model, which I did. And then this is where you can use functions and then a lot of other um, videos which I have done from different angles, not only with the Open Web UI, but with other tools too. So try it out. Let me know what do you think. And I hope that this helps you out. If you like the content, please consider subscribing to the channel. If you're already subscribed, please share it among your network as it helps. Thank you for watching.